Molly's ghost. Molly was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk and the undertaker. Scrooge signed it. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Scrooge knew he was dead. Of course he did. Scrooge and he were partners for I don't know how many years. Scrooge was his sole executor, his sole administrator, his sole friend, his sole mourner. There is no doubt whatever that Marley was dead. Scrooge never painted out old Marley's name, however, there it stood years afterwards, above the warehouse door. Scrooge and Marley. The firm was known as Scrooge and Marley. Sometimes people new to the business called Scrooge, Scrooge, and sometimes Marley. It was all the same to him. Oh, but he was a tight fisted hand at the grindstone with Scrooge, a squeezing, rasping, covetous old Merry sinner. Christmas, Uncle, God save you, cried a cheerful voice. It was the voice of Scrooge's nephew, Fred. <sighs> said Scrooge. Humbug! Christmas? A humbug, Uncle? You don't mean that, I'm sure. I do. Out upon your Merry Christmas. What's Christmas time to you? But a time for paying bills without money. A time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer. Let me leave it alone. Much good has it ever done you. Much good will it ever do you! There never was such a goose. Its tenderness, size, flavour and cheapness were the themes of universal admiration. Old Fezziwig stood out to dance with Mrs Fezziwig. A positive light appeared to issue <laughs> from Fezziwig's calves. They shone in every part of the dance. Ask me who I was. Who were you then? In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. You'll want all day off tomorrow, I suppose. If it's quite convenient, sir. It's not convenient, and it's not fair. If I were to stop you half a crown for it, You'd think yourself ill-used, I'll be bound. Well, on a Christmas with all my heart, and try to live it all the year. I will live in the past, the present and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that I have learned. Oh, tell me that I may sponge away the writing on the stone.